The following starts with a quick discussion of the design of the Cryptex, which I did in Fusion 360, and an optional modification I made to make it more suitable as a gift box, rather than just a password protected container. I then go on to briefly discuss the 3D printing of the various components. For those interested, the STL files are available from my website. And finally, I then show the assembly and use of the Cryptex. There is a uh, video timeline index in the description for any who would like to skip ahead. But first, the obligatory self-promotion. For those that don't know, a cryptix is a type of combination lock where you need to arrange the spinning rings to spell out the correct password to enable the cylinders inside to slide apart and reveal whatever is hidden. While a cryptix is used to hide items, I thought it would also make a great novelty gift box, with the recipient given a suitable cryptic hint or message, which would then allow them to work out the password and then unlock the gift. However, to add incentive to persevere and work out the password, I modified the cryptic so that one of the ends is transparent, so that the person getting the gift could see what is at stake, which adds to the fun, or perhaps the frustration, which can also be fun but for the gift giver. It is difficult to 3D print truly transparent items, so the design uses a clip to enable securing any suitable transparent plastic item to the cryptex. In my case I used a plastic cup which enabled greatly increasing the volume of the gift that could be held by the Cryptex without increasing the 3D print time. Although in hindsight, this was definitely shooting yourself in the foot when it comes to giving money as a gift. While Thingiverse has many versions of the Cryptex for download, like I said, I wanted to have a transparent end with a large inside volume and also have enough letter rings to spell out or encode words of at least seven letters. So I used Fusion 360 to design my own take on the Cryptex. I won't go through all the Fusion 360 steps, but if people want specific advice, I'm happy to answer any questions in the comments. For the 3D printing, I used PLA with 0.2mm layer height on an Anycubic i3 Mega using Cura as the slicer. The STL files are available on my website. Uh, I also used 5% infill. If you want any other specific settings, let me know in the comments. After the 3D printing is completed, you will end up with the following components. Seven of the outer ring, which has the embossed letters. Seven of the inner ring, which fits inside the outer ring and allows setting of the locking code. An outer tube, which forms the cylinder around which the rings rotate. An inner tube, which contains the teeth upon which the rings rotate and can be locked or released. A locking ring, which fastens the various rings onto the inner tube. And finally, a clip which joins the clear plastic container to the inner tube, which both holds the enclosed gift and allows the recipient to view what is an offer once they have worked out what the unlocking code is. For assembly, this simply involves inserting the inner rings into the outer rings, setting a code for each letter as desired, and then placing the assembled rings onto the inner tube and finally inserting the outer tube. The inner ring has a gap which allows the teeth of the inner tube to slide through and which when inserted into the outer ring sets the code letter for that particular ring. In this example, the letter S is set. Continuing this process with the other rings, the code word secrets will be set in this example. Once the code is set, the rings are placed onto the outer tube and the locking ring put in place to retain the rings. Well, that's it for this video and I appreciate if you could take the time to like, comment and subscribe.